we ran some certain plays and just got to execute them. We didn't take advantage of our opportunities. That's how Ime Odoka described the Boston Celtics 99 to 97 loss to the San Antonio Spurs. Now Jason Tatum was out of the NBA health and safety protocols and the Celtics finally had a healthy starting five and were looking to build some consistency. After falling behind by two at halftime, the Celtics were able to get back in it in the second half, but the Spurs were double teaming both Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum and a missed layup from Brown on the final possession cost the Celtics the game. We got to keep moving, keep cutting with pace. Um, I thought in the, in the fourth quarter we got away from you know what we wanted to do. You know we were rushing a little bit and we could have took our time. Man, uh, it sucks to lose this one because we wanted to win this. One. Felt rusty. I do feel better than I guess the first time I got it. And um, I mean honestly, I won't. I'm not gonna say I was nervous, but uh, it was it was definitely heavy on my mind. I guess uh, last night and today just the anticipation of thinking of how I was going to feel. That kind of lingered into the game, kind of questioning myself, how do I feel? Am I just tired? But uh, I definitely felt better than, than last time. And it was just something that, you know, we all got to get used to it. We got a little stagnant or just every time we had a chance to really take the lead or push, it, push the lead up or, you know, get it closer, especially down late in the fourth quarter, we took some poor shots. And so have to be you know, more deliberate with what we're trying to get there. We ran some certain plays and just got to execute them. Brown was very disappointed to lose and lose in that fashion, but he said post game that it's important to be able to compartmentalize, saying that as tough as that one was, the Celtics team needs to now shift their focus to the New York Knicks when they face them tomorrow night.